these. The shop teacher. <laughs> Is this made of wood? <laughs> I'm sure these taste better with the cream cheese the art teacher brought in. Good morning, faculty. <laughs> Welcome to the weekly staff meeting, which we hold once every five years. Why do you look like that? Like a bald George Clooney? <laughs> I guess I'm just lucky. If you must know, this is Mr. Young's fault. Huh. What to pay for a toupee? There's so much more to the world around us than the naked eye can see. That's why we employ the power of magnification. <sighs> Observe nature's stunning beauty. <laughs> Do something like that. Tater's face is disgusting without magnifying it. Mr. Young, you are the worst teacher this school has ever had. Seriously? Have you seen the teachers around here? Mrs. Stropperson? <laughs> Monsieur Marionette? <laughs> and worst of all, Mr. M.T. Chair? <laughs> Mr. Chair is late for everything. Don't listen to him, M.T. You're doing a great job. Class, today I'll be teaching science. <laughs> okay, go ahead, start your lesson. I'm not teaching today. The school board has mandated that everyone in the school take this career aptitude test. A test? I didn't study for a test. You don't study for this test. I don't study for any test. <laughs> Except blood tests. It seems to be paying off because I keep getting a B plus. Be positive. I'm trying to be positive. A career aptitude test tells you what your future job will be. If this test knows my future, what else does it know about me? My address? My phone number? The security code to my offshore bank accounts? I thought I saw a test rummaging through my trash. I don't want to take it either. Since when do tests have all the answers? We should follow our dreams. Well, we're not gonna have any dreams if we don't get some sleep. Could you please just teach some science? <laughs> These tests are actually pretty scientific. Close enough. <laughs> to prove it, I'll take the test too. I'm sure it'll show I was meant to be a teacher, inspiring today's youth. <laughs> okay, test. Now I'm asking the questions. What are you working for? <laughs> Ms. Young, I noticed you didn't turn in an aptitude test. Now it can't suggest your future career. I don't want a career. I plan on becoming a trophy wife. How romantic. <laughs> marrying a trophy. I'm gonna marry some rich guy who will buy me lots of jewelry. I knew that. But you still have to take a test. Fine. But I hope I do better than I did on that blood test. I got an O minus. Here are my class's aptitude tests. Hmm. Why is there one extra test in here? I fill one out. How did you know what was in there? When I was younger, I worked at a carnival. Oh, guessing people's weight? No, making funnel cakes. 
What does that have to do with knowing how many tests are in this pile? Nothing. I didn't have a good answer, so I thought I'd entertain you with tales of my crazy youth. <laughs> People love that carnival story. <laughs> Funnel cakes. Anyway, let me know when the results are in. I'm trying to prove to my students that these tests work, and I'm meant to be a teacher. Meant to be a teacher? We'll see about that. <laughs> Don't judge me, woman. OK, class. Your career aptitude test results are in. Garbage man? Yes! I'm going to be a superhero named Garbage Man. Derby. How do you know my secret identity? I must now wipe your memory. Let's see. According to this test, when I grow up, I'm going to be a high school student. Whoa! This thing's good! Though these tests are obviously a good indicator, you don't have to do what it tells you. It's just a suggestion. I got nurse. Nurse? <laughs> are you ready for your checkup? <laughs> a mandatory suggestion that you have to do. But I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an environmental activist and help save the Earth. Don't be so selfish. You got nurse, you have to be a nurse. Just like I have to be an alligator wrestler. <laughs> alligator wrestler? What about teacher? Uh-oh, his memory's coming back. <laughs> what happened? Did a leaf monkey steal your fancy hat and scurry up the tree? <laughs> You can borrow my fancy hat. <laughs> Unless you're a leaf monkey in disguise. I'm not a leaf monkey in disguise. Oh, OK. <laughs> Unless you're I'm a... not a leaf monkey in disguise claiming not to be a leaf monkey in disguise. <laughs> that stupid aptitude test told me I should be a plumber. So I'm trying to pick plums. <laughs> I appreciate the advice, Dang, but I think you should leave the plumbing to the professionals. <laughs> Plumbers fix sinks and toilets. Ew! Toilets? There is no way I'm going to be a plumber. Well, I should get going. <laughs> it's almost time for Real Housewives of the Night. <laughs> wow, where did you get all that jewelry? I found it plumbing. People drop all kinds of treasures down the drain. All kinds is my favorite kind of treasure. <laughs> and this bling goes so well with my... <laughs> Leaf monkey! Well, I'm going to become an alligator wrestler if that's what it takes to make Echo a nurse. Imagine what she'd look like in that cute little outfit. Are you ready for your tetanus shot? Hello, nurse. <laughs> so you're going to become an alligator wrestler just to prove to Echo that she should become a nurse. When you put it that way, it does sound a little logical. Exactly. <laughs> Did I just hear you say you're becoming an alligator wrestler? That was the result of my aptitude test. You don't say. <laughs> what a shame you'll have to leave Finnegan High and possibly be mauled by a man-eating lizard. Well, just like me, these tests don't lie. <laughs> I can feel your look, Mrs. Stropperson. <laughs> All right. The school has been experiencing low water pressure. There is probably a clog in the pipes. A clog? I was hoping for jewelry, but shoes are good, too. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Mom, 
Mama needs a new pair of diamond earrings. Then I'll borrow them from her. Yeah, <laughs> This is just a disgusting clump of worthless hair. Oh, no. This hair is very valuable. I am making a wig. I'm thinking of doing some gator wrestling in the bayou. <laughs> Before that, can I buy you lunch? You're not seriously considering being an alligator wrestler, are you? It's my destiny. You can't wrestle your destiny. Just like it's your destiny to be a nurse. Put on the outfit. <laughs> You're being ridiculous, and those clothes look silly. Your clothes look silly. Put on the outfit. <laughs> Adam, alligator wrestling is dangerous. You'll get hurt. Then I'll need a nurse. Put on the outfit. <laughs> what is that infernal clang? You go. Whoa, how are you not dizzy all day? Who says I'm not? <laughs> you call? You're dang right I did, Clang. <laughs> the pipes are making a horrible racket. We are working on fixing the plumbing. Maybe the source of the problem is here. <clears throat> Let's see what's clogging up this pipe. No. <laughs> okay, my turn. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> I was wrong. This is awful. I wouldn't stand there if I were you. Why didn't you say that before? I did. Adam, what happened to you? I just got back from wrestling a 12-foot gator. I had no idea alligators had 12 feet. No wonder their shoes are so expensive. Well, everything's going according to plan. Who's eating crow now, Mrs. Stropperson? Well, you would be eating crow right now if you didn't keep scaring them off. You just wrestled an alligator? Yes, ma'am. And that critter done bit me. I'm gonna need you to kiss it better. Where? There's a quiet spot under the bleachers. I mean, where did you wrestle an alligator? Uh, at the swamp. Swamp? There's no swamp around here. Can we discuss where there is or isn't a swamp during the tending to? Great. Now I'm covered in mud. We can hose you off. You have got to be kidding me. Okay. Echo didn't believe I really wrestled an alligator. Probably because you didn't really wrestle an alligator. That's why I need to do it in front of her. And in the course of the battle, I'll get injured, and Echo will have to nurse me back to health. Isn't that risky? Nope, because I'll be wrestling you. You'll be dressed as the alligator. Got it. <laughs> Derby, what are you doing? You told me to dress up as the alligator. The alligator is my wrestling persona. Now prepare to feel the bite of the gator grapple. No, Derby, no! Oh! Here. I meant you should dress like a real alligator. Oh. 
Oh, my bad. Sorry about that, man. I'll go change. Oh. The alligator is cold blooded. Oh. Oh. Get the nurse. The nurse is my wrestling persona. <laughs> Tag me in. My everything hurts. Take two of these and call me in the morning. No! <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I don't know what Slab did, but he's a good nurse. Uh, I actually feel better. Okay, we still have a chance to get this right. Echo will be here after school for the sci-fi club. At least, that's what her diary says. And you'll be here to spy on her. At least, that's what your diary says. <laughs> Give me that. Diaries are private. <laughs> now, if we're gonna convince Echo to be a nurse, I need you to dress up as a realistic alligator, not a wrestler. An animal. You should look like an actual alligator. I get it. You're looking for a scaly, leathery, prehistoric beast. You called? Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, I think we've traced the source of the pressure problems. Here we have what is technically called in the plumbing business, the mother of all clocks. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. You're always finding the good stuff. This time, I'm going first. No problem. Any more jewelry, and I will start to look gaudy. <laughs> I can feel something. <gasps> this is going to be the biggest diamond ever. <laughs> story about a girl who pretends not to love her teacher to such a degree that she won't even mention him in her diary. I think they'll get together in the end. That ending sounds so unbelievable. <laughs> no, I hope they have not seen an alligator. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm meant to be a gator wrestler, just like you're meant to be a nurse. Put on the outfit. No, not the time. All right. Yeah! Great costume, Derby. Uh, uh, easy boy. Easy boy. Wow. That's, 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 that's incredible. Like that. Uh, you are meant to be an alligator wrestler. Uh, I guess that means I'm meant to be a nurse. Uh, yes. Thanks, Derby. You're welcome. No, it's just me, Derby. Pretty realistic, huh? You're not Derby. You thought you were wrestling Derby? Well, I didn't think I was wrestling an alligator. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I mean, snap, snap, growl, growl. <laughs> I think she's buying it. You lied to me. This is the kind of betrayal I'd write about in my diary. Echo, Adam, alligator. <laughs> ah! Alligator! Mr. Tater, that's just Derby. Oh, thank goodness. I thought he was a real alligator. That's the real alligator. <laughs> real alligator! Oh, no, you don't. I paid a lot of money for that hair. But 
Looks good on you, too. <laughs> the tater is cold-blooded. Wow, Mr. Tater, you're good at this. Let me know if you're interested in wrestling. The alligator. <laughs> Principal Tater left us to become an alligator wrestler. I never thought I'd miss him. Our new principal is a tyrant. <laughs> Whenever I look in her eyes, I just feel so cold. You can all stop behaving because I'm back. For some reason, being a gator wrestler just didn't feel right. <laughs> anyway, don't tell Dang I'm back. I want to keep the going away present he gave me. This solid gold hook he found in a toilet. <laughs> oh, I thought the alligator had really bitten off one of your hands. Nah, those little critters are harmless.